So when you get this thing going on in your expansion tank, we'll mix it with coolant. And in this case, it's because of the oil cooler fail. Here you go. This thing can crack inside and oil gets into the coolant. And to clean all this mess from the coolant system, I usually use diesel fuel. Take off bleeding hose from the heating radiator heater and add some fuel. Fresh fuel inside, diesel fuel, until it drains through those through this hose over there. It's the best to flash from oil all the system. After you start the engine, warm it up to 70 degrees, then you drain fuel, then flash it with uh, soapy water, then drain soapy water, flash it with water, then drain this water, then add new water and some flash radiator then drain flash radiator add some water again drain the water and then only add coolant you can squeeze hoses to help air come out And of course, each time when you add some water or flash, you will need to start the engine and uh, let it idle for a couple of minutes. Shut down the engine. Quick look inside. the best way you can do this and if you need to delete this oil cooler for good this is how I do it here you go and we don't need that anymore some tightening torque put pliers like that and this is the one way you can undo this treated fitting of the oil filter and you can do this from the top another way you can undo this fitting is just simply using the nut that was holding oil cooler and if you don't have second this kind of nut then cut it out from the oil filter this part with treat and then undo in this way fitting here it is, you need to cut, so I cut it just like that and grind it from the one side, this fitting, so the nut that was holding oil cooler can move all the way on the treat with no problem. And you can use some small amount of treat locker when you'll be setting this fitting back in place so it will not go in anywhere. So I don't have second this kind of nut, so I cut it out from the old filter part with a treat. And you can cut it more precisely if you fit on the old fitting nut and that part that you cut it from the oil filter. And you just cut this side, this side and this side. Pull that part then you tie it nut and tie it all the way the start of the oil filter is fitting and then undo nut and another nut and that's it. Turn back filter on 
start the engine and check for any leaks. And hoses that was connected to the oil cooler, I connect them one to each other. Now you can take one of the hoses and you can cut right here. Clamp, cut the clamp, remove one hose. To connect another hose. 